cold. Don't be alarmed, everybody. It's seven o'clock. Y'all see who I got with me? That's Emmanuel Glaze. E Glaze, what's up, baby? About to make me break out in that usher. Seven o'clock on the dot. <laughs> My Ooh. guy, what's happening, baby? What's up, man? What's up, y'all? What's up out there? Not ready for these sports, man. I don't think they're ready to make sure. Man, let's talk these sports, man. They know what it is, man. You starting out, brother? Let's get it, man. Let's get it. You know what it is, man. The NFL preseason is here. I'm going to start with this. Make sure that anything that is exciting you in these preseason camps, before you answer that, to play or not to play, do you play your starter since it's only, I think it's two games now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Three, three, three. It's a shorter time period. And if you like the Atlanta Falcons, you don't know who you, you, you know who your quarterback is. But do you trust him to not have some type of experience before you go into that first week? You see these injuries are piling up. The guys are out for the full season. Start with that to play or not to play three games. What are your thoughts, Mace? You, you, so every situation is uh, unique for the Atlanta Falcons. And you look at Marcus Mariota, you have to play him. Yeah. He basically hadn't been a starting quarterback in the NFL in two, three years. Right. You got to find out. Can he come in and can he command the huddle? Can he control the offense? You you see it in practice every day, but that's against his teammates. You need to see him against some live bullets, a series or two, maybe three in that first week. You, you got to play this guy. Now, if you have a, an established starter, nah, like you Buffalo, you, you're, you're, you're the Kansas City Chiefs, and you know your guy is a big money guy, you don't play him. You think about Lamar Jackson in Baltimore. Lamar Jackson he put a uniform on the week one. The the, the fact that Lamar even practicing I, I, we, we that that's a whole nother subject. But for the Atlanta Falcons teams that have a new quarterback, you got to play him. But if you're Indianapolis, you got an established guy in Matt Ryan, but he's new to your your way of doing things. How long do you play a guy that's up in age a little bit, myself? How long do you let him play? So with with Indianapolis and Matt Ryan, you give him a series. You give him a series. You're talking about a consummate professional. You want to see him out there with Pittman. You want to see with the running game. I'm sure that they won't dial up any plays, any boots, anything right there that'll put him in harm's way. But you do want to put him out there for a series just to kind of, you know, and, and, and this is what we know about Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan is, like you said, he's the consummate professional. Yeah. So Matt Ryan is going to want to play a series. But a guy like that, I mean, he's seen – everything in the nfl what's gonna fool matt ryan nothing much nothing he's much seen he's seen it he's been in it man so i agree totally with you i think when you see new new faces new places you gotta give them a, you gotta give them a series and these three weeks are important we've seen teams start out slow by starting they start a slow you know don't put much time in them but you gotta have some type of rhythm man you gotta have them against that fire that bullet when you got a guy coming at you like you say but if you got a team that's already established you got to put bubble wrap on Lamar Jackson. I wouldn't even let him. He'd be in the press box. I mean, you, <laughs> if you get hurt, that means you slipped on a step going upstairs. You ain't finna be, bro, fragile. You are, nah, bro. We're going to put you up there in that booth. We know we're going to get about 12 games a year. But a guy like Julio, he don't play much either. These fragile guys, you don't let them play during the preseason. Man. Right. You right. ain't going to get but 12 to 15 games out of them anyway. So you better well not waste them in the preseason, bro. First one for you, sir. As the world turns in Cleveland, <sighs> old Kareem Hunt made news this week. He's talking about, hey, I want a new deal. I want to be traded. I, you know, I, I, I just want out of here. How much more drama can Cleveland take? And if you're the Browns front office, what are you letting Kareem Hunt go? Do you keep Kareem Hunt? Your thoughts, Emmanuel. This gonna sound real bad, and I apologize to any Kareem Hunt. But who in the hell are you to ask for a trade? <laughs> you the number two guy. You ain't the number one running back. I'm sorry. Look, I heard this. I'm like, what? Are we the number two guys can ask for? And you at a, at a position that's not a big time position like it was in the past. I get it. You want to have the contract deal, but remember Kareem. When you was hot in these streets, 
You were making these mistakes with KC. <sighs> so now the goods ain't as great as they used to be. I know I'm wrong. I'm I'm a player guy first. But to cause all this ruckus with a position where you know this and you and I know what you're doing. Hey, the, the, the team is struggling. We see all these problems they got. Maybe we can hit water. They kind of need me. Do they? <laughs> 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 never, never let your agent fool you in your value. Your, I understand people say know your worth. Yeah, you might want to check your bank account and check your worth because I don't I, make sure I might be wrong. But I was like, who, who, Kareem? Four years ago, when you were doing that thing in KC, I was like, yeah. Now I'm like, well, you better get this year in. Running backs, <laughs> running backs stand for NFL. They really stand in the NFL. Bill Parcell said once again. Running back, we get four years out of them. Throw them away, go get the other guy. Move on. Move on from them. Be careful in these streets, bro. Be on trades if you want to. And sit out if you want to. Be watching another young pup from Maryland next year in your spot. <laughs> Taking your spot. <laughs> what's, your, what's your thing, man? I I I you know, I, I had made a tweet when I when I had saw the news and I and I was just like bad timing on Kareem Hunt. Because you, you you're in a situation and in Cleveland with all that's going on, where well, you got this Deshaun Watson situation. Oh, by the way, Kareem Hunt, you had an issue. You missed a big payday because of a domestic altercation that you had. So, Cleveland Browns for you to do that it, to Cleveland right now in the middle of all the stuff they going through, just just terrible timing. And, and again. What leverage do you have, uh, Kareem Hunt? You know, because if you decide to go home because all you guys signed off on this new uh, CBA, teams can't give you back your fine money. If a team find you, you are fined. And, uh, you know, that fairy tale. once upon a time, you know, once I come to camp, they'll forget these funds. Uh, no, that, that's not the case. I, I don't think people understand how, especially running backs, when you in a, in a in a split back lead, you know, no, you you share carries, you save almost a hundred touches on your body a year because Nick Chubb is the workhorse. So when you come in, a lot of times the defense wore down. So I mean, why would you want to go somewhere to a situation where you may have to be the bell cow? And now you talking about uh 300, 350 carries. He not he not thinking, but I understand he he missed his payday. He won his money. Clearly, he got some. Uh, and you know we don't count pockets, but clearly, it's some cars, it's some it's some, some jewelry, it's some stuff he want to get. Yeah, and he can't get it on that contract he on right now, Emmanuel Glay. <laughs> Kareem, Kareem, you ain't special as you used to be, man. Be careful going to these Twitter streets. These social media streets trying to air differences because if I'm clean, I'm already pissed that I'm dealing with Deshaun stuff. And I don't know how long I'm going to get him. And like you said, Nick Chubb is our guy. You are coming in on second, third series, helping him rest so you can get it. People like they pay you premium five, 10 years ago, running back could get premium dollars. The last running back I remember giving premium was Zeke. I may be yep. one after Zeke. But yep. now, it's, it's, if you don't have two backs, you don't do nothing. So you are the second back. Yeah. I don't know what the, the, the second back money range is, yeah. but it ain't going to be first back. Come on, bro. It is, <laughs> be careful, man. Real be quick, careful. shout out shout out to our guy, John Mars. He said he better get that check and keep moving. The league <laughs> don't care about running backs. This is a passing lead, John. You are 300% correct, sir. 300% correct. And we don't want to get into people's past because he's still playing. But you do have a mark on your record. And teams out there are going to be like, all right, we saw him do one thing. And now he's complaining about contracts. Why would we bring that to our franchise? We don't want that drama in our franchise. So Cleveland ain't going to be able to trade him, man. It's going to be a tough sell. Even if you – and who going to give up – what, they will give up a sixth or a seventh at the most for him? That's the most you will get out of him. You get no top five pick or fifth to uh, first round pick for him. That's too all. much to give up. You talking six, seven, or some cash considerations. I remember mean, you know how they do that for cash. That's what they give for you, Kareem, some cash. Be careful <laughs> in these streets. 
quit listening to y'all agents. A lot of agents are getting fired around here because they're making y'all do things y'all don't want to do. Your agent work for you, Kareem. <laughs> you better switch the wide receiver. I know that's right, Marlon. Yeah, he be, he be thick as a thick slot receiver who can catch the slant route because that's what it's going to be about. <sighs> I got to get your, your thoughts on this match, show. I saw it. The Big Ten is putting out their big card now. There are reports saying that they're going to be one of the first leagues to say ESPN, we are all right. We're looking at Fox, CBS, and NBC, Maceo, on a big deal that they're looking to get a seven-year deal. ESPN said, hey, we out of it, no ABC. But Big Ten say we will go where we want it and where we can get. And you know Fox, the CBS, and NBC, with who's in, who plays on NBC, Maceo? Notre Dame! Are all looking at this like, Wow. Give me your thoughts on the Big Ten trying to make big moves out here, man. So we 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 we, we are in SEC country. Yes, sir. We are. People are going to be real upset about this, but I'm going to say it anyway. The better college football matchups are in the Big Ten. If you look at if you look at rivalries, if you look at Michigan Ohio State Right. You look at Penn State, the whiteout. Uh, you just the pageantry in the Big Ten is nice. It's very, very dope. Now you enter USC, mm. and you got the number two media market in the world. Yep. No, like you say, they got the they 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 got the big Joker out, and they got it stuck on their forehead, and they ain't got it like turned. You know, like that, they got it facing like, hey, here it come. <laughs> here it come. We th rock it. Is, so people and, and it kills me, Glaze. I'm 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 glad you brought this one up because it was actually in my notes as well. The SCC outside of okay, Alabama Auburn is a huge game. Yeah. But if you look at like the, the SEC matchups. Georgia, Georgia's schedule, I'm sorry about it's very soft this year. Very soft schedule. <clears throat> Florida is not Florida right now. Uh Tennessee is not Tennessee right now. Mm -hmm. So I mean it it is it, it, <laughs> Alabama. I mean, no offense. Hey, I'm David Ruffin. These are the temptations. <laughs> exactly. the Big Ten. Hey, listen, Mich Michigan, like we Michigan. Ohio State, we Ohio State. Penn State, we Penn State. Wisconsin, we Wisconsin. And oh, by the way, we gonna be able to stay and tell Notre Dame, hey, mess with the ACC you want to. Keep, 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 keep that ACC schedule you want to. All the money over here, Glaze. Can we you imagine Notre Dame, Ohio State, Notre Dame, Michigan? Notre Dame, Michigan State, which they already play. Notre Dame is naturally a Big Ten play. school. They naturally a Big Ten school. And you just said the big, you, the other big joker. They got the big joker with the words and the other big joker with the USC Notre Dame makes y'all come on. Look, ESPN. I, I know everybody riding they riding they, 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 they ACC, the ACC, the SEC money. But you just mentioned fourteen plus an Iowa plus a Wisconsin. Minnesota's playing decent football up there in, the, in that Midwest. Row the boat. Row the boat. And you got USC, UCLA coming. This could be, and I put up the ESPN thing because for years ESPN has been the, the bell cow. When they call, everybody run. Texas, uh, you saw Oklahoma, everybody runs to the SEC. For Big Ten to say, we're going to show, because NBC wants to get back in the game with Maria Taylor coming over there and things of that nature. They're ready to jump back into some major sports. You see what Fox is doing with the, the Gus Johnson. they ready to do with the Reggie Bush, the whole side. they ready to get big, and we already know what CBS wants to do. CBS like, okay, ESPN, y'all going to take the, this? We want a part of that uh, other team as well. But this could be a major shift in, in, in football, in viewership, uh, it, for us, the fans, we get to say we ain't got to wait to one game. We can turn to multiple channels and we can watch right. this game because, right. you know, because this is huge to me. I think it's going to be not only for the play and in in basketball, Big Ten basketball is really good. 
it, it's, it's, it's going to do some big time. And they got a lot of big time coaches in the Big Ten. I love this move. It's it's really shaking up the ESPN thing because they here for so long. We do what we want. Now people are like, we want some other options now. We, we, we tired of going to one stage for everything. Man. And, and, and I want to add this too real quick, Lay. If you look at the big noon kickoff show, Mm-hmm. And in and, and that 12 o'clock game, they put the best 12 o'clock game out there. You so geek from like those some of those games be so good that you'd be exhausted yeah. by the time the 3 30 game come on. You yeah. like, yeah. man, I gotta wait all day to watch Alabama. I gotta wait all day to watch Georgia. Now I'm gonna flip back and forth because Ohio State in Oregon just put up 7,000 points. <laughs> And that's what you, you you made a good point because they were killing it. The way it works is Fox, you know, Fox would get that noon game. Yeah. And then at three thirty, you get the SEC number one game on CBS. You wouldn't right. even get to the other game because they were like, "Hey man, they all right over there." But the two big games were on those networks. And by seven o'clock, you were like, "Man, I'm, I'm what, what, what's up? What?" It was just another piece. It was the dessert. Yeah, I don't, so, I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't tapped out in, in, in college college game day. It lasts so long. Like, I mean, how many people truly watch college game day from 9 a.m. to kickoff? You you don't like you 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 sit around, you you like the guest picker, you like to see with, with coach uh Corso uh put the helmet on, yeah. and then that's it. I think eventually make sure if people were smart. We will get to where the action means more than the opinions because we get to see for like you said, nine to one, nine to twelve, a three hour show. Then on Sunday you get not. I don't want to see all. I, I I rarely look at those three hour long shows about. It's too much. People. It's too all much. these guys got opinions about sport. Look, that's y'all. Y'all can spend your money on what you want, but tell me what time the game start. I'm gonna go ahead and go get some shopping done, wash my car, and clean up a little bit. Then I'm gonna come at twelve because the game started at twelve. I might look at eleven forty-five just to see, like you said, Corso do his thing. Then I watch. I ain't gonna watch no uh, seventeen uh, hours of you telling me who gonna win the game. I don't care what you. <laughs> let's play the game. I want to see the game. I want to see the game, bro. I want to see you talking. It's, it, it's too much, man. It, it, it's too much. We're gonna stay with college football because surprise, surprise, preseason bowls, uh, the preseason polls. Excuse me, everybody. Drop and here we go. The usual suspects, Alabama 1, Ohio State 2, Georgia 3, Emmanuel Glaze. Do the rich continue to get richer? And are, 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 are we kind of just desensitized to the fact that those three schools are always going to be in the mix? It's funny. In the last seven years we've been doing this, show, we've seen – portals we've seen this we've seen coaching changes but for the last four years there's still been those three schools sitting at the top no matter no transfers don't matter uh sc- you know, scouting uh what's the new thing pay to play all that stuff is winning to play but we still got alabama ohio state and georgia those are the three schools now everybody you might get the clemson clemson fell off last year they they really trying to rebuild and they want they want they fell off and they want 10 games yeah, they won 10 games in the ACC. I know well at the ACC, but that those three teams, two in the SEC, one in the Big Ten, have basically said, no matter what you do to us, we still got this program set to always win. And I looked at it right, and I know Georgia fans, number three, look, Georgia, you lost a lot of talent. But the, and, and to all y'all who worry about preseason polls, you know how you can work, don't worry about them, just, just play. <laughs> the poll gonna change each week I and mean, we expect a new team that we ain't expecting to win but i think it is it, it is amazing and i say this about nick saber the way he has made other teams step up their game if you want to be at this level and yes nick did say last year was rebuilding year but whatever nick just take the l and keep moving don't be trying to make you, know, <laughs> you lost the national championship don't, don't i hate when nick do that you take the l and keep moving nick. You lost the national championship. It happens, Nick. It happens. The team know in order to compete with a Nick Saban, we have to be at that level because if not, we ain't going to be able to do that because the only two schools that have been able to get to him are 
Ohio State and Georgia for these past this Nick Ruin, as they call it. What's your thoughts, man? Listen, I I, I say I say this all the, I say this all the time. The 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 bloodline of the the bloodline of college football is recruiting. Nobody recruits better than those three schools. Again, like I say, at number four, you Clemson is at number four. So I mean, they're always going to be in there. It's going to be quarterback play for them. You know, can DJ Uwale? I mean, now they went from imagine going from Deshaun to Trevor. And now you with DJ, who was a five star kid as well. He just it just hadn't panned out. He yeah. fought when he came. You know, but but, 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 but but we we will see. These schools recruit so well, like they're all they're always going to be top four, top five. Kirby and, and a lot of people didn't really realize this. I, I had bought it up, uh, uh and, and 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 some we were doing. Kirby has never finished lower than fourth in recruiting since he's been at Georgia. The proof is in the, the proof is in dude. That defense last year was so epic and historic, but what made that defense so historic was he was too deep with five star kids. Like you sent 15 guys to the pros. It's five first rounders on that defense that we know for sure. Ain't no telling. It's, it's a bunch of other kids that we just don't we hadn't we hadn't seen them play yet, but they're probably gonna be just as good. So these guys are always gonna be in the mix. And oh, by the way, y'all see Georgia just approved about seven hundred million dollars uh, in private funds to uh, renovate Sanford Stadium. So uh, UGA gonna have they already right now have some of the best facilities since they redid the butts mayor building all that stuff they got some of the best facilities in college football but oh by the way they've been upgrade sample stadium with 700 million in private funds hey, so you know i was there when i took my daughter there uh after the national championship sec championship and i was like they were like oh we about to remodel Sanford." i was like for what i was sitting there like it looks fantastic <laughs> but they re they, but you know the one thing each team that you just named have in common make sure they build defense first all four of them, the four teams that we just mentioned they are putting guys in the pros yes and i want to no offense to stepman ben and everybody but georgia don't have these big time superstars on the offense they got some good players but they were so well kept on defense they are so fast they're so big they had some defense like you said they had five stars replacing five star that's why everybody's these teams have great even ohio state they were cornerback you for a little bit ohio state can get you some corner some linebackers some defensive line clemson we know they rebuilding on that front line and on the off on the defense these are some great defensive teams when you see a team got some pretty the, what the uscs are having to figure out is how to build a great defense what the notre dame hasn't figured out in a while is how to build the great defense but these georgias alabamas clemson ohio state they build some of the best defenses, and they always – you can always tell when they have the great one because every NFL draft the, is like 100 of them go from them same four schools every year because they can build and go get great defenses. It just it just makes it and, – and, and, and let's be real. Three of the coaches make sure we're what? What's that? The coordinator. Oh, oh, oh. But look, I'm going to say all three of them super rich. <laughs> well, we know that. Kirby, Kirby, I need about uh, Kirby. I got you. What you need, but but they were all former defensive guys, so they know how to talk that and build defenses, man. I don't know the guy from Ohio State. Was he a former offense coordinator or defense? Yeah, he's an offense coordinator. Ryan Day is an offensive Ryan guy. Day. So the other three, we know were defensive guys. Well, I think what you call a special team. But anyway, but they were all they they built defense. They got great defenses. I can't wait, man. I'm I'm just I'm just looking for it. And Georgia's schedule is very favorable. They got a few super games favorable that look like they can lose, but they got a good schedule this year. So Atlanta should be popping again. Alabama, Georgia, if everything works out right, we should see. Make sure I wanted we talked about this a little while ago, man. I want to laugh right now because uh our guy lefty, Phil Milkinson, and a few other people from the Live Tournament the have, live decided, have decided to take the PGA to court because 
they won't let us play in the tour championship and we should be able to play the pga said you said y'all want to play over there yeah now you want to come over here and play yeah. because these three guys would have ranked in the top 30 because of the tour championship that's where it is and now they want to have a chance to compete for that FedEx cup money maceo you you said the grass was green over there why you want to still play in this league that you didn't want to play with because they don't pay enough money what, what, what's your thoughts on that man so emmanuel glaze is funny because you actually gave the answer to this last week when we talked about the live tour how do you watch it where where are you watching it like <laughs> these guys okay y'all making crazy money i can't see you I, I listen i can't see that polo you wearing i i don't know what kind of shoes you i don't see what kind of shoes you uh got on i don't know who carrying your bag what kind of clubs you got yeah. all i know is you making a lot of money on the live tour but they want that. See, they sponsor. See, this, this, this is where sponsorship comes in. Yes, sir. Your sponsor is sitting there telling you, like, dude, I pay you the type of money I pay you so that you're visible. You can be seen. No, we hadn't seen you in months this since you decided to go to the live tour. I don't even know what you look like. What these guys look like now, Glaze? I don't know. Uh, I'm looking at the, the Scheffler, who's the number one player in the world. Like, y'all now, he said he's frustrated because now they're making all this big deal about, oh, man, we want to play. This ain't right. You said I got more money coming from this Saudi Arabia oil money coming over here. I'm going to go ahead and jump over here. This is a better tour. It's shorter courses. It's only 10 tours. I'm making my money up front. I'm happy. But now when the TV did, because CBS, ain't, they still stick with the PGA. NBC, PGA. Get what? They got their own golf channel that's doing the PGA. We want to watch, and you know, in a few weeks, they'll be in Atlanta. Big money, $15 million to win the FedEx Cup. Y'all ain't going to be able to, and only 30 players play. Y'all ain't going to be able to do it because y'all are going to be playing in shorter golf courses. I just think it's funny, Maceo. We I, we talked about it before. I still think this, and I, I, I'm i more than, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong in five years. This is the USFL. When you pay for talent, that wasn't groomed in your in your business you're always going to be having problems with grooming your own talent and the pga t, pga will never have that problem they got they got they got levels to the pga they got the way you got to get to the school and all that to get there so they're grooming talent and when tiger told y'all no y'all pretty much done for so i see y'all y'all might even get in but just the fact that y'all are already halfway through the season trying to sue to still play in tournaments that you knew was going to probably be taken away from you is was is still kind of like frustrating for me as well because if y'all you can it should be you know it, it just it just keep eye on this live tour because it's going to get worse and it will be better yeah. they don't have enough skin in the game glaze I, I i look at this you you were not were fortunate enough to be on the ground floor of um uh the the, the afl one of the things that we discussed was how how do you compete against a monster yeah you know how, how do you like i mean this, this a, it's a great idea in theory like say guys they, they throwing money around but is it sustainable is 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 it built to last and, and, and that's just the question these guys again listen the money they were throwing out i mean it, it was like hey no, I gotta go take that money. It's life changing. But at yeah. the same time, you start looking at three to five years, and we always talk about legacy. So, is my legacy going to be uh, a guy who just ran and took the live money, and again, nobody got to see me like, dog? I can hit three hole in ones on one tour. Who saw it? No, nobody saw it. So yeah, you know, I, I I don't I don't understand this thing. I, and one I more thing on that Mace is is you know all the records of PGA are hundred year records. Yes, and the Masters, yes, Beans, Tiger Woods, Sam Snead record, uh, Jack Nicholson, eighteen majors. All those records are hundred year long records. You can't when you retire from the live, they be like, man, I won the first live. Tell them like, well, okay, all right, yeah, nobody <laughs> nobody really fighting for that win. 
<laughs> Nobody remembers that, but they remember and you know what you want here. You were the first to do this. It's uh, going to take a lot of patience, and if they gonna keep fighting, we'll see. All I gotta say is, if you if if the money don't work, billionaires do back out of of, of failing business. Fail, <laughs> they will show put this to the side and say, you better go back to the PJ crawling and begging. Cause I promise you, I'm done. Cause we gonna be straight. We we straight. We still good over here. People we gonna we home. we gonna be straight. We gonna be straight. Marla Marla say there's never too much money. <laughs> I it guess so. But but we, we but like I say, when Tiger said no, the seven hundred to eight hundred million, I'm like, God, that that's interesting. That's interesting. What you got, Mace? I I, I got to bring this up. I I, I wanted to avoid it, but. All, all my New York people, they they just can't let it go. The New York Mets, we we go up to New York. I want to say Shea Stadium, but it's City Field. City Field. We went up the we went up the City Field. We just got smacked around. Little little brother, uh, figured out, hey, I'm a dot the eye. <laughs> yo 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 thoughts about the horrible weekend that the Atlanta Braves had. It it woke up it woke up the Braves. That and it woke up a lot of fan bases. Like, uh, is this Met team different? I still think they fell in the end, but I've been wrong. But when you get um, Jake back and you get those two pitches that they got back, Maceo, it, it's going to make it a little bit easier for you. You saw DeBron, DeGrom come back, he had a good little outing, so they're getting that confidence back for City, you know, from the Mets. I think they are, they are, they, they surprised me a little bit, they were a little bit better than I thought. Uh, I think they got a good team, but can they keep it going to the end of August, early September? I could be wrong. I may be wrong, but we'll see. And even if they get in the playoffs, Mace Joe, do they have what it takes to win in the playoffs? Do they know how to win in the playoffs? That's going to be interesting. But, yeah, New York Mets fans, I saw I got some friends that are Mets fans. Y'all Y'all kind of felt good after this weekend. They popping, too. They, they, they popping. They chest was strong this weekend, but, you know. We'll see y'all in the postseason. We'll see y'all. We'll see what's going on in there. Give me your thoughts. You saw it. You, that was one of my notes too to talk to you. Yeah, about I mean, listen. I, as as much as we like to say the Mets gonna met and all that good stuff, the the the, the one thing you can control head to head. Yeah. And, and and I'm talking about when when they slapped us, they slapped us. Yeah, and up. you know we 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 in two weeks we see them again. What lessons did we learn? Yeah. Uh, did we get enough info on Scherzer and DeGrom? Uh, yeah. can we slow down that line? I mean, they were hitting the ball all over the Cover. field. I was Cover. like, Jesus Christ, like, I mean, they just closing their eyes, just slapping that thing. So it's because you know, Mar- Marlon said this yesterday, and, 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 it, and it's so true. Playing head to head, it's like when you lose, it's like you lose two games. Yeah, you look at I me, mean, it's like, and the only way you can make you know, we were so close in the standings, and now we're at seven games. It's like we, we you know, we're we looking up to them like for real now. We were kind of, you know, we were, and, and, and now we're looking way, <laughs> we like, and the only way we can technically catch them is beat them head up. Yeah, we got to beat them head up so. We got our we got our work cut out for us, my guy. Got our you know, work uh, cut out for us. You know, it was uh, definitely important. I, I saw two different. The Mets wanted to prove something this weekend. They knew they had the Braves up there for what, five games. We got to prove something to these guys. We want to slap them. They slapped us last year and took the momentum. It kind of made the Braves. It, it slapped the momentum out of their hands for a little bit. But like I say, it's coming back up. What are you going to do when they come back and they come to the A? Let me ask you this, though, on that front. Did this give you concern about the Braves pitching after this weekend? A, a, a little bit, not a not a whole lot, but but what it what it did show me, it showed me that our star, we're gonna have to get solid pitching from our starters because our middle relief and our bullpen, we 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 not like that. We we are not like that. Our starters, they have to give us like six to seven strong innings in, in conjunction with us scoring runs. Like, I mean, when are we going and, and I know I know people don't do it, but we, we got a Cunha, we got Mike Harris, we got Dansby. We gotta start playing small ball. We gotta steal some bases. We gotta 
manufacture runs. I know, I know it don't happen that much, but just sitting around waiting on the long ball, that's that mean that, that that's not what's happening. That's not what's out in these streets, Glaze. It's not what's exactly. happening. Exactly. That's why I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, I'm on both sides. It looked like the team, sometimes you need that slap though. You know what I'm saying? You need that slap from you just to get yourself together. And I think the Braves needed to get that. Oh, whoa, whoa. Maybe we need some things to look at. We need to do a little bit different because we were playing hot going into that series. We were winning a lot. Every series was hot, but to lose, that was, that was, that was probably, it may be a good thing. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I want to Kenya to this make show. I, I, you know, the NBA is fun. The NBA keeps trying to keep things going. And, I, and I'm looking at the, the owners of the Nets. He said he'd back his front office. He's he's behind his front office 100% because he knows Durant already met with them. Durant still wants to be traded. You know about the Kyrie issue. But, Macio, how this situation to me, I, I'm, I'm almost, I wish they just do something. Just, just, just finish it. I'm ready. I'm tired of seeing Durant yeah. in, in this talk with Durant and Kyrie. Just do something. Send them somewhere. Right. Get him out. Russ, Russ, send him, just this taking too long. I'm I'm getting excited because you know in Atlanta, you saw what our boy DeJounte did, you know, in, in that, that pro am game. I'm all excited about what he's doing. I'm ready to get on to something else, but every NBA talk is about this stupid trade Durant or trade Kyrie. Give me your thoughts because now the owner is he them came in and said, I back my people hundred percent. Dude, the problem is it's a player's league. Yeah, the, the NBA they they've allowed the players to uh come out and and, and and just say all of these ridiculous things and, and it's like i mean what you gonna do because i mean K, kd got the kind of money well yeah. kd can sit out yeah like the <laughs> the nba money is so crazy yeah. that like dog kd like hey man that that little 45 million i'm gonna make next year Man, I don't need it. Man, I made all this money in tech and, and all this stuff. Dude, he is going to force himself somewhere. And, hey, it might not be where he want to go, but he clearly wants out of Brooklyn. And the NBA, listen, listen it's nobody's fault but your own. Just, just oh, the, the utter gall, as my mama liked to say, the utter gall for <laughs> the Pelicans to give Zion Williamson a max contract for what? Because he's Zion, because the NBA is a player's league. And the coach, Kyrie was dead serious when he was like, hey, we don't need a coach. He we can coach it. He wasn't even joking. They dead serious, man. These, man, these players, they got all the leverage. Steve Nash pretty ain't much ain't a coach anyway, so they he might be right now there. he just be sitting over there on the sideline. He don't know what to I mean, and, and you, you keep saying that, Mr. Sure, and I, I totally agree, man. And you pay for potential, you pay for seats. Zion, the potential of him playing is going to fill up your arena in New Orleans. Uh, I tell Brooklyn this, and we've said this before: stop getting these big name players to come to your team. It doesn't work. You got the KD and Paul Pierce. That didn't work. Now you done went this rant with the rant. Stop it. Build something. You know, you, you're going to – it looks stupid every year. You haven't came close to a championship none of those times. But I, I, I totally agree with you, man. I just – I'm tired of seeing it, man. I'm just – I'm ready to move on. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be ugly wherever he goes. He wants to go to a team that's winning. Everybody wants you to – come on, man. Everybody wants to go to a team that's winning. But you carrying a nice price tag on your, your – your tail and teams gonna have to trade. They have to trade their stars to bring you on the team. So the people you want to play with will be right. able to play with you. Dude, I gotta give up too much to bring you in. <laughs> you give up Phoenix. I gotta give up Harris. I gotta give up somebody to get you, brother. I can't just bring you in and you, everybody will love this. Ain't a Madden. This ain't a NBA 2K. I can just slap y'all together. No. And it's gonna work. Hey. It stalled Devin Booker like nah. Yeah, I ain't talking about nothing Devin. unless you trade me Devin Booker. Now I gotta have Devin Booker. That's an even to me. I, I won't say even, but before I can trade a Kevin Durant, I gotta get your top player for a Kevin Durant. I, I, I gotta, I gotta get your top player, dude. He wanna I get play your top with, player. Uh, he wanna play with Devin and Chris. Hell, everybody wanna play with Devin and Chris. <laughs> so we can't do that. I want one of those. I want those players. Come on, man. <laughs> Balling stupid. Steve Nash with the substitute teacher <laughs> around over in school.
He sure would, man. He he be sitting there looking numb and asking Katie, "You feel like coming out? Okay, just stay in there. We good. What you got for me, man? You want to play today? Don't worry about it. We're starting. To, uh, the word is starting to creep out. Uh, she's gonna probably make it official in the next few days. Tennis is about to lose the star of stars. Serena Williams is about to call it quits. I just want you to listen to this uh, real quick, Lay. Go ahead, man. I got you. 39 grand slams, hmm. 73 singles titles, 23 double titles, four Olympic gold medals, 319 weeks ranked as the top player in the world. How big of a blow is this going to be when Serena hangs up the, the the skirt and the sneakers? It, it's going to hurt tremendously. Um, that's why you're hoping a Coco can do a little bit more in the, in the field and some of these younger um, American women can do it, especially African-American women can do it. Um, but it's... I'm gonna be that guy. It's it's time, ACL. It's time. Uh she's she's losing. I mean, she won recently in the first round, and they are celebrating her winning the opening round. That used to be we didn't wanna we wouldn't watch a Serena match until the the, the close of the weekend. Right. right. <laughs> and Arena worked rocks the first three rounds because Serena gonna blow by everybody. But now it's like you have to watch every round she's in because you don't know if she's gonna lose or not. And I don't want, and I think Serena, and she won't say this, but she said a little bit in the article, she's ready to move on and be a, a mom. She's ready to be a family person. She's ready to grow in her other businesses. Yeah. And to be, and, and what the great athletes will tell you, the, the LeBrons and the, the guys who Kobe, to be that guy all the, or that girl all the time is hard. Being Serena Williams when everybody expects you to be the same one from 10 years ago is hard. And she is not that person anymore. I'm sorry. She's she enjoyed teaching tennis to a baby girl and doing some things. This takes a lot, and she can't. And you've heard that you've been around great ones before, Maceo. If they ain't playing it optimal, yeah. top, they don't want to be a guy that a, a, or a girl who loses in the first or second round. No, yeah. if they're not optimal and can still contribute at a high level. He don't want to keep doing this. And that's why Serena wrote that. She's like, I'm not giving y'all a hundred. I'm not giving you Serena. Right. I'm giving you, right. I'm giving you a, a, a good, I'm giving you a great tennis player, but I'm not giving you Serena. And that's why you see these people toward the end of their career say, yeah. I don't feel like, I can't give you a great right. player. As right. much as I love Kobe toward the end, he wasn't Kobe. He yeah. was giving you, he, he gave you 60. Yeah. That was a hard 60. Right, right, right. He was tired after that game. Right, well, that yeah. Was a hard yeah. 60. And, and you see these guys doing that. And and it's the injuries too, Blaze. It 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 right. it takes it takes them so much just to like you said. I'm I'm doing I'm I'm doing all of this to my body to give you sixty percent. Yeah. And 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 I can remember her last match in in. It's shots that you know you and, and, and you sitting there like, and, and we all say, yeah, man, yeah. man, oh, but old Serena would have been, been a runner right there, and she hears boy, it, boy, she, and yes. she hears it. Now these these athletes, like I say, you you and I are, are, are blessed to be able to talk to these guys, you know, off, off you know, off the record, and, and, and so many times I, I always think about this when uh, we cover uh, Mike Tobert's uh, event in Charlotte, mm -hmm. and, and and you saw like you know when Sterling Shaw came through, a lot of the guys who had moved on, and just talking to them on the side, and it, and it was just like, and you and I talked a couple of weeks ago. Your mind, in, in your mind, you yeah, you gonna always be that in your mind. But your body is just, <laughs> your, <laughs> your body is just like, man, like, like I say, dude, I gotta go to my trainer four hours before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And like Stanley say, bro, between almost dying, almost yeah, dying, giving almost birth, dying, yeah, 
And make sure you we talk about it. How how long does it take us to recoup? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no quick read. Hey, ain't quick. This tomorrow is, is an entire rest day for me. <laughs> I'm doing nothing near the gym. <laughs> Reason why, and people don't realize this, Tom was serious about retiring. Yeah. But he kind of was because he was tired. Getting up every day and giving a Tom. Tom Brady can't go out and be Mariota. He can't give you no. Mariota numbers. No. The team don't expect him to come out and lose. It's Super Man. Bowl or bus. It's Super Bowl or bus. He can't give you regular quarterback <laughs> numbers. It's Super Bowl he bus. has to be Tom Brady. No. Why do you think the Lakers, everybody's so hard on the Lakers? LeBron, 38 years old. He's 38 this year. They don't yeah. care. You LeBron James. We expect yeah. LeBron James numbers. It's 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 hard. We don't know. That's a one percent point five point zero one percent of talent that we no. will never understand, and yeah. they have to deal with that every year. And like, yeah. and in tennis, they 18, 19 years old, may still yeah. run up and down. Like they don't get hurt that quick. They can play yeah. a whole three. Yeah, they play no. they hey, five. they they can give you four hours out there on that grass. Four hours. <laughs> Serena need a rest. She like, I need that break. I'm going in that that I'm going in that booth in there. I'm gonna get stretched out. I'm gonna get some some Ben Gay, some liniment, a massage. I'm gonna get in that cool tent thing. I gotta get it all that before I play that next match. Them young ones can get up the next day. Like, let's go. I'm ready. I'm mad. <laughs> it's tough, man. It's tough. And you know what's crazy? I want to add on that to a little bit, Max. Get your thought. This is the year of a lot of great women retiring. Sue Bird. Um, mm -hmm. We just saw Sylvia Fowles and, and then Allison Felix. And we, we're seeing these women who have always competed at high levels in their sports all of a sudden now saying it's time to move on. And, and I think what we're learning, and like we've said for years, is we really need to quit taking these people for granted, man, because the GOAT, uh, the white mamba who's uh, down there at Tarasi, she's hurt now in 19 years. Hurt, hurt. We, we're going to start, we got to start appreciating some of these great talents because we're about to lose them. Father time is undefeated. Injuries, you and you getting weird injuries now with these all these special <laughs> training. You getting injuries I ain't never heard yeah. of. What is, like, what is that? But yeah. to make sure we talk about all the time. It's okay to dog, but I think we need to start as part. And we've been around. We got to start giving these guys flowers, man, and Dude, enjoying these talents. Listen, I I've said this all the time. As much as I crack jokes about this player, this player, the one thing I always appreciate about every player, I love greatness. What? I love greatness what? because everybody can't be great. No. And you're 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 able to see again, like like like, like I say, Glay, you you and I, we get to see it like very up close person, like you know. Uh, uh, somebody, somebody at the gym asked me one day, like, like, how how dope is like LeBron's energy? And I'm like, dude, I, I don't think you understand. Like, man, uh, just imagine you can't go nowhere. No, um, 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 uh, no. like, whenever the Lakers or whoever you play, whenever they're in town, like, listen, it's if crap. you don't go to shoot around. <laughs> Early in the morning, yeah. you're not going to get LeBron because after the game, it's just going to be too like, no, as big as the locker room is, dude, he over in this corner and it's like 700 people <laughs> with cameras. And, yeah. and, and it's like every other game, it's like no media. There. <laughs> it's the, the usual suspects. LeBron come to town. Steph come to town. Dude. It's like, where y'all been all awesome? <laughs> Yeah. And, and we always say, enjoy booing your people, but you better enjoy this. And another thing, I heard Giannis say that he wouldn't spend all that money on his body like LeBron do. Bro, you ain't but 27 years old. Yeah, yeah. You get Talk to me in three years. Wait till you get, you get the 30 yeah. something. You're going to need everything in the, boy, 27, boy. Yeah, I get up fresh every morning at 27. Oh, I can run in circles, basically, yeah. Ooh, 37? Man, I need I need a whole team of everything ready to go. I, he, he told, I, don't, I, spend, I, don't, I said, bro, you 30, 27. It's a whole different yeah. injury, bro. It's yeah. always nobody don't fire up like an old car. When you buy that car new, all you gotta do is turn it on. It cranks up real quick. When they get older, 
You better make sure the oil chain. You better make sure the gas in there. You better make sure those parts. It better be in the there. garage. Because if it's in the garage, you in trouble. <laughs> that thing won't fire up the same way, boy. You got to take care of older cars. I, I want people to... All, all, every interview Ellen Iverson has done since he retired, the one thing AI always talks about, his biggest regret, not taking care of his body. Not taking care of his body. That's his biggest regret. Not being in the weight room. Not taking care of his body because he probably could have stretched out maybe five more years. And that's what afraid makes me afraid of the guy you just talked about earlier, Zion. He don't take care of his body, man. And he, everybody, oh, he's so big. And I'm like, this kid might not last to 30. I mean, he reminded me of a of old school guy rest his soul track the trailer back in the day. Remember how he came in? Oh my that, god! If like, you ain't take care of that body at the NBA, and then you eat lobster and scrimp every night with some steaks and all that, man, bruh, this league would chew you up and eat you and throw you out, and then you'll be like, "What happened to Zion? He couldn't stay in shape." Dude, is, you better get. He twenty what? Twenty four. 24 bad shape. dude come on man it, it's it's survival of the fittest and you can always tell the guys who take their off season training you you can just tell and and and, and it's the longevity now it's 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 crazy to still see lebron able to run up and down the floor the way he do with his age and like you know no he ain't got that same bounce no. he he can't defend like he used to fend, you know, he can't probably chase you down as fast as he as he could. But dude, at 38, he is still giving you this like <laughs> optimal. Oh, Tom, oh, Tom Brady is in a training camp at 45. It's levels to this, Mace. At 45. And can still throw. He don't have to throw 50, 60 yards in the air. He can get it to 20. He can get it 30. He can get it that accurately. His brain is still working well. I just look at this man and I think about it all the time, Mace Joe, and I, and I see when you're working out with those young people, I'll be like, I know Mace Joe making it, but at the end of the day, that stuff be hurting. He's probably no, like, listen, <laughs> it's because my recovery regimen, now, I soak every day. I ice bath every other day. Dude, my massage gun stay on deck. Now, in the now, studio. They be going right out there. They be headed out to the. That would John, John say at 27 year old, he was jumping out like a firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> no, we listen. Hey, man. Father time is undefeated, man. And I've seen the other day, boy. I was looking at these cats lifting. I know they do about 150 lifting beside me. I, he would put up the big weight. I was like, man, let me get these 20s, man. I ain't finna mess with y'all, y'all. I ain't finna tear this up. up I know. Why would I do that? All right, I got to end with this. It would only be right. I got to end it with this. For all my people in the streets, 8 20 22. I have seen my Facebook blow up. Maceo, for all the people out there nationally in high school, Maceo has one of the best robberies in the city of Atlanta. On 8 20 22, I'm up, our boy Stanley and our boy, the coach at Mays, I was the quarterback. Tony Slate. Right? Slate. They go. I know both of them. We know both of them. Maze is like they're gonna drag Doug, man. Give me your thoughts, Mace. Are you excited about this, man? Dude, I'm I'm, I'm geek. I'm geeked up. I'm not getting a haircut the next week. I unless see Morgan, I see him uh, back there. Unless Morgan tell Morgan look to me, like Morgan said, "Damn, you need a haircut." But listen, I, I tell people this all the time, and, and I, I listen. Y'all know I rock with every high school yeah. in the city. Yeah. I, I got love for everybody. But there's nothing like Doug and Mays rivalry because it's it's it's, it's entrenched in y'all been partners forever. Yeah, yeah. grew up and a lot, a lot, a lot of a lot of y'all. You know, we grew up at the park together. Yeah. A lot of them boys yeah. played middle school ball together. Yeah. Then they had they had to pick a side, and and, and it's crazy because I always think like my my senior year. The game was like <laughs> the game was so electric and so epic. It was like the first time we ever had to get a police escort to the stadium mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. somebody like somebody called the bus with a radio to the bus. They like, hey, if y'all had left the school yet, y'all need to leave the school because 
you can't get off on 166. And, and, it, was, and it was so crazy, dude. We were the visitors, we were the visitors, so we got to get off on, on the on the park side. Yeah. yeah, dude. Police motorcycles had to come up the wrong way, get our bus, and escort us. Dude, wow. it wow. was crazy. The the five o'clock game that night was packed because <laughs> everybody knew if you didn't get in there. Dog, no, at five, you weren't gonna be able to see the seven thirty game. No, it, it's it. No, next week you you and you'll see a lot of like I ain't even right. Like I ain't even rational. Matter of fact, I ain't even gonna talk no trash because uh, the maids have folk who talking. They ain't went to go see maids practice. That's all I'm gonna say. Y'all ain't seen <laughs> maids practice. Yet. That, I'm, I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. You know, I done seen both teams, and clearly the maids folk. Y'all ain't seen me practice yet, so I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that. But Glay, the city gonna be so electric next Boy. week, dog, and, and you're gonna be able to feel it through Facebook all week. By the time you get the, by the time we get to Saturday, and I'm glad the game is on a Saturday night. It's on. It's it's only right, like it's only right to have that game on Saturday. Only right. I've been looking and I'm like, man, why am I getting geeked? I ain't play for these, but I know all these people, man. I yeah. feel like I'm with, the, with both of the both of the schools, man. I'm sitting there and I'm like, I know both of the head coaches. I'm yeah. like, I know this is going to be, I played with Slate, we know Pritch. I'm like, dog, this is what, but this is what the city need. I'm kind of glad to see it. It got yeah. this energy. It's, 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 long, it's, long, it's, long, go, it's long overdue. It's long yeah, overdue. These, these two schools, should always play, and I know it was a time where, where, the, where the definitely it was the imbalance because Doug lost so much enrollment that they yeah. actually dropped down to double A, and Mays was able still to stay at four or five A. So, but still, just for the neighborhood rivalry uh aspect of it, it, it's like you have to find a way. At least not every year, but every other year, every two years. But you got to play this game because. We always like to talk economics. We we talk economics. Everybody going to get paid this game. It's going to be Both schools, the, the gate going to be crazy. Concession stand going to be crazy. If you're selling T-shirts, it's going to be crazy. Then they got the after party. Of course, y'all know if we don't win, y'all know I ain't coming to after party. I'm going to be at the house somewhere chilling. Y'all ain't going to be bothering me. Hey, that's the great thing about it, man. It, it, it's it's. It's, it's going to make these schools get back where they belong, which is – and y'all got great alumni. Uh, you know, I just saw the class of 92 celebrating their 30 years for Doug, man. Everybody's hyped, and they know August 20th is coming, and everybody's ready, man. I just – I'm excited for it, man. And, yo, and, uh, yeah, Coach, we'll see y'all in October. I know. You know who I'm talking to. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we there, baby. We there. My Lincoln County hat. Found my Lincoln County hat the other day. Now, I'm, I, I, I got to – I got a chill for Green County because you know that's, that's your family. That, that's that, family. that's my family. That's you know, family. I got I got I got a chill for Green County, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be standing on the sideline. I'm gonna be looking at you. I'm gonna be looking at you, <laughs> TL Banks. Go Banks. I, hey, all my people down at Coast Bank, you know, my the, the the middle school right across the parking lot, named after my auntie Coat Banks. Look, you look know coach. my family. Hey, we <laughs> we run the city down there, Coach Bain. As Stanley Carson, my cousin, as, as well. His mom. That's who the school is named after. Yes, my sir. auntie. So you know what I'm saying. Green County. You on the clock, Green County. We looking at you, Green County. I done talked a lot of good stuff about you, Banks. Banks, I'm gonna get you a red bow tie. I'm gonna put a devil <laughs> on it. You can wear that red bow tie after the game because I got you. I'm ready for you, Banks. I got to hey, make man. sure I get a picture in front of that wall. I got to get a picture in front of that Lincoln County wall. I'll take it for you, man. I it's dog on my, 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 my phone that we used last time. I done obliterated that phone somewhere. So yeah, I can't get no pictures out the cloud. So hey, it's in Lincoln County, too. Oh, yeah. We, we gonna it's going to be in Lincoln County. Hey, man. We got to leave early that day, man. We got to dog on. We got to stop. You know, we got to stop and get us some, some terrible food. Yep. And then we got to get down there early because I want to see what I, I can't wait. Amen. Amen. That's all I got, mate. You got anything else before we wrap it up? I just, before we close, last one for you. 30 years ago, this week, Emmanuel Glaze, Jerry Colangelo, and uh, the powers that be got tired of seeing 
our college basketball kids getting beat up. They summoned the dream team, Emmanuel Glaze, and we never looked back. Is it time to go back to the college kids, Emmanuel Glaze? No, because no, the college kids don't want to go to college. <laughs> if we could establish a college team, we may can, but we ain't got no, I mean, it's, you know, the NBA is young, all these 18, 19. I do believe if you did 25 and under, Maceo, yeah. you'll still win because you would have still the Trey Youngs and all those still available to play. But ain't nobody going to college these days, man. I mean, it'd be cool, but. I think about this. The only thing I ever had is one problem with the Dream Team from 30 years ago. One problem I've had is that they got Chris. I know Leighton was the best. He was the hype guy, dude. But Leighton shouldn't have went over Shaq. I don't care what nobody tell me. Right, was right. The most important. He was the best player in college basketball. And he didn't go instead of Leighton. I know everybody loves some Chris and Leighton. He, come on. Can you imagine Shaq on that? A young 19, 20 year old Shaq on that squad? I mean, I like I like when Magic uh, on that documentary he said, "Hey, nobody wanted the college kid. You take him." <laughs> <laughs> they would have said that with Shaq. Yeah, we'll take the big fella. The oh, as, Ter- as Terrence Aubrey chimes in, Terrence Aubrey made his declaration, Glaze, that the Falcons are going to win ten games Ooh. and they go into Super Bowl. Terrence Aubrey does this to himself every year because he's a sick, he's a season ticket holder. He done got his vest in the mail. And he's calling Mar- Marcus Mary Goda. All right. Karen, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it now. August 9th, I hope you're right. But, Taryn, I always have a backup plan. I always have some, because this it might be a rough one, Karen. This, this, this might be, I think we're a couple of years away. I think that young team is a couple of years away from doing that. Karen, it might be a rough year for you, man. I, it might be a rough one, Karen. I mean, I'm glad you... And Terrence, while we on you, Terrence, can I model? Can I model my Doug shirt? I mean, I mean, I, I see, I see what you're doing. I, I, I know you're a little biased because you, you know, cause my sister <laughs> went to maze. I, I know you're a little biased, <laughs> but I mean, can can the Doug how people see what the Doug how shirt look like in person? I mean, the the maze shirt, I it's already in the streets, man. It's in the streets, it's already in the streets. <laughs> they, they all, they all in the video. What the like? What a dog. Clearly. What a dog. Oh, oh, there you go. Happy wife. Hey, I mean, that's what I said. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, can the people see what the dog shirt look like? I mean, you know, I got like about five inboxes. Oh, and and somebody say, hey, what the dog shirt look like? Look, I'm, oh, I'm going to blow this one up right here. I did see the maze shirt. That's right. That's that pretty fine, too, Terry. I see that shirt. That shirt's fine. That post right there, and you'll see the Greater Baby logo right there, because I told I just, hey, man, just go order. Go go look at the shirt. Say They say, can we see the Doug High shirt on somebody? I mean, Terrence, you went to Harper. Y'all want black and gold? Put the shirt on, Terrence. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> mine ordered. I, I ordered mine, baby. Cause I'm ready. I might be spatted up next Saturday. Yeah, boy, it's gonna be Atlanta. Gonna be on fire, man. Just people enjoy the game. Don't make it about y'all. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the people. It, it, it's it's always ninety five percent of the people going to enjoy the game. It's that five percent who want to show out and be ugly that can stop and ruin the game, man. So enjoy the game, people. It's gonna be outstanding for the city. I'm already ready. I'm already ready for Sunday because I can't wait to see. Who get called out the whole game? You know, whoever lose gonna be talking ish. You know it's gonna be crazy. So I can't wait to see it. Well, y'all, wait. y'all already know win or lose, I'm gonna be talking crazy. That that's just what I do. <laughs> and I got some bets out there in the street. Woo. I got some bets out there in the street. I'm eating off everybody at made. I'm talking. I'm eating lunch good for about two weeks off them folks. Woo. There it is. Y'all see there the helmet? Is. Y'all see the helmet on the wall? There it is. I, I, might, helmet, I, might, take, I might take that to the game. That's my helmet. That's my helmet. Both of those are mine. And, and the shield still on that one. What the number 10 at? You got the 10 nowhere? I see what it happened was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what what the happened, Glaze, with my jersey? <laughs> I thought the 10 would be somewhere. I don't know around that. What that what happened with my jersey is <laughs> everybody. That's our show. That's it, man. Hey. We love we 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 love y'all. 
Y'all got Harper got the best logo in the city. Boy, stop. <laughs> hey man, real quick story before I go. Y'all, I cried my junior year at Douglas High School because they took the stars off our helmet because I always felt like I played for the Cowboys. I love the star. Charlotte Brandon said, We are taking that star off our helmet. I said, Coach. So I didn't turn my helmet in to get refurbished. I was the only one out there with a star on my helmet for about, about three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. And, and, and I believe every word of that. I was. And, and, and then, like, Thursday afternoon at practice, they came in the uh, Charlie Brown and said, hey, Macy, yo, bring me that helmet. I got something for you. <laughs> It was that right though. It's, no it's, star. It's, it's clean, makes sure. It's clean helmet though, man. Yeah, I mean, I cleaned it. It was it wasn't always that clean. One hour that clean. That makes sense. Everybody, we love y'all. Next Have a Tuesday, good man. One, man. Hey, Next we really, Tuesday. We might need to do something, Mace. I'm thinking. We, let's talk about it. Let's think about it. I want to get this rivalry. I might do the last 10 minutes. We get a couple of people from May, get you and some May people. I just sit back and watch this. Let, no, let, let's do it. Get the trash talking. Let, 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 no. That's a, that's a great, that's a great I idea. Want, I want gear. I want I want it all. I want to pump this game. I want to be the I, we won't be the show to pump the city game of Atlanta. We're gonna pump it up right here. So and Terrence, I'm gonna wear both the T uh, T Bank TL Banks. Wear bow tie on in October. That's all I said. Red bow tie, just for you. We love y'all, man. <laughs> Until next time, America. We're Peace. gone. <laughs>